allies of the former president, Goodluck Jonathan, are sharply divided over an alleged plot by some chieftains of the ruling All Progressive Congress APC to drag the ex-president into the 2023 presidential race on the platform of the ruling party. The nation gathered that while Jonathan is reportedly yet to take a decision on the alleged pressure on him by APC chiefs, many of his known allies are said to be already working with the promoters of the plot in preparation for the 2023 elections. This is just as a good number of his associates have also made it clear they will not support him should he leave the opposition People's Democratic Party, PDP. Though the leadership of the ruling party has denied it, it's planning to fill Jonathan as its next presidential candidate. Sources within the party told the nation that some APC governors are actually toying with the idea of backing the former president to return in 2023 on the platform of the party. It was gathered that many of Jonathan's associates are said to be on the other way to the ruling party as part of the plan to facilitate his emergence as the presidential candidate of the party come 2023. According to sources, one of the APC governors may also be supported to emerge as the vice presidential candidate of the party. The plot is to bring Jonathan in and support him as a presidential candidate on the agreement that he will do just a term in office and allow power to return to the North. Constitutionally, he cannot vie for another term. So, his choice is being promoted by some Northern governors and chieftains of the APC as a way to douse the agitation for zoning and also truncate the presidential ambition of a particular Southerner. Many meetings have been held on the matter and though the former president is yet to consent to the plan, there are strong indications that he may consider the offer and join the APC eventually. As part of the moves, some associates of the former president are expected to leave the PDP and join the APC soon. Once that starts happening, then you should know that the deal is struck and Jonathan will be coming to try and get the ticket of the party ahead of 2023, as Sauce said, adding that, and to make things easier, the APC influenced by the governors have amended its rule to pave way for the newcomer into the party to vie for tickets. That move is part of the strategies to soften the ground for Jonathan and others would be defectors into the APC. The body language of the former president, according to political observers, have also changed since talks about the possibility of his seeking a return to the presidency in 2023, gathering momentum. When asked recently by journalists whether he will be joining the presidential race in 2023, he stated that it is too early to talk about that. Analysts have also been pointing to the increased rapport between the former president and President Muhammad Buhari, as well as the not too cordial relationship he maintains with the leadership of PDP, as indications of things likely to come as 2023 draws nearer. Sossi said a group led by an ally of the former president, who is also a chieftain of the APC in Bayosa State, is already working with the promoters of the idea on how to fly the project. The parties are said to have met on occasions to discuss the modalities. The APC governors want the campaign to start from the South-South, being Jonathan's base. It is expected to be taken to other parts of the South before they will give support to it, up not as agreed. They have also assured us that they will convince the APC to give its 2023 presidential ticket to the former vice president. A lot of individuals and groups will be part of it all, our sources claim. The nation gathered that as part of the plot to sell the candidacy of the former president within and outside his zone, an agitation for the South-South to be allowed to present a candidate that will complete his second tenure in 2023 will be mounted. This is to make the people of the South-South see the project as theirs and also appeal to pro-zoning elements across the country. Jonathan was denied the second term in 2015 and by extension, the South-South is now the only zone that wasn't allowed to rule for eight years. That is something we intend to capitalize on. As we sell his candidacy, our source added. But Yobe State Governor Maimala Bernie, who is also the chairman of the APC Keteka and Extraordinary Convention Planning Committee, said the party is not winning Jonathan for the 2023 presidential race on his platform. He added that APC governor's visit to Jonathan was solely to congratulate him on his birthday and to honor him. As a former Nigerian leader, he however said the party is open to people who are willing to join. 
recalling that his committee's efforts have attracted many SY leading opposition figures like Governor Dave Omai of Ebony State into the APC. On his part, Jonathan recently reacted to the stories making the round when he said he's still in the PDP. According to him, PDP has been very friendly and I'm a member of PDP. I know from the beginning till today, it's been a very friendly party. PDP is a party that carries everybody along and would extend that to Bielsa State. But it appears that the alleged plot, especially indications that it is being promoted largely by northern chieftains of the ruling party, is not being viewed the same way by the former president's supporters. While the nation gathered that some of his allies are readily working as a group to push the idea and convince Jonathan to make the move into the APC when the time comes, some very close associates of the former governor have expressed objections to the plot, warning the ex-president to be wary of those urging him on. According to the reliable sources, many of them are former coordinators of Jonathan's campaigns in the past. During the last week, supporters of the former president under the auspice of Good Luck Jonathan Support Group, GJSG, state coordinators, called on him to shun all entries aimed at luring him to dump the political home, which is the PDP, and jump into the danger learning uncertainty of the ruling party. The group speaking after a meeting in Port Harcourt, capital of River State, reiterated its earlier threats to withdraw support from Jonathan should he leave the PDP for APC. We want to say it again that as loyal members of PDP, we will not follow anybody to the APC just because we adore him or her, GJSJ said. The nation gathered that the meeting of the coordinators was conveyed following fears that the rumored talk between Jonathan and some APC governors may turn out to be true. According to the chairman of the coordinator, Honorable Alfred Emiloju, we have just made efforts to get to the root of the rumor and we are not convinced that it is all lies. On a daily basis, we are getting indications that something may be going on behind the curtains and that is why we deem it important to quickly speak our minds and make our position on the unfolding political drama known. It is not for fun that some of the people we see as leaders in the ex-president's camp will be favoring the ruling party against our own party on some issues. It is not also mere coincidence that some people who left us in the past are now regular visitors to some of our leaders. We have waited long enough for somebody to clear the air on all of these happenings, but nothing has been done. We remain solidly committed to the politics of Dr. Jonathan as he remains a leader yet to be equaled in this country, but we will not sacrifice our loyalty to our dear party for our love for his leadership and person. The nations also gather that some allies of former president dissatisfied with certain developments and determined to do all they can to forestall any plan by Jonathan to switch camp ahead of the 2023 elections, discreetly urged some PDP leaders to visit the ex-president in Abuja recently. The immediate past Senate president, Dr. Bukola Saraki, has led the high-powered reconciliation committee of PDP to the meeting. The visit, according to the committee, is geared towards closing ranks, settling reefs, and bringing about consolidation ahead as intrigues relating to 2023 general elections unfolds. Well, there's nothing hidden under the sun that will not be revealed right now. Um, um, loyalists of Jonathan, some of them are saying they are not satisfied. They still feel that something is going on uh, um, behind the scene that there are some possibilities that APC are trying to play a game. But anyways, nothing is hidden that will not be revealed. If Jonathan is going to decamp, we'll still find that eventually. Anyway, guys, let's hear your own take down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again with more updates, bye for now and God bless.